Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. Chipmakers searching for China plus one are finding Malaysia. India's glittering economy lights Modi's re-election path. Japanese company Space One's Kairos rocket explodes just seconds after launch. Gemini, Google AI chatbot starts to restrict election answers. Ex-Honduras First Lady announces run for presidency days after husband's drug trafficking conviction. Chipmakers searching for China plus one are finding Malaysia. New York Times. Many European and American companies are choosing to move to or expand operations in Malaysia's electrical and electronics manufacturing hub. Intel and Infineon are each investing $7 billion, while Nvidia is teaming up with Malaysia's utilities conglomerate to develop a $4.3 billion artificial intelligence center. This shift highlights how geopolitical friction and competition are reshaping the global economic landscape with companies seeking to strengthen supply chains and production capabilities in crucial sectors such as semiconductors and electric vehicles. India's glittering economy lights Modi's re-election path. Nikkei Asia. India's strong GDP growth figures have provided a welcome boost for Prime Minister Narendra Modi as his party gears up for the upcoming elections. The country's GDP for the final quarter of 2018 was 8.4 percent, compared with the 7 percent predicted by most analysts. This resulted in a growth rate of 7.7% for the calendar year. Moody's ratings predicted India would be the fastest-growing economy among G20 countries, with a growth rate of 8% for the fiscal year ending in March 2024. Jeffrey's brokerage house also forecast that India would become the world's third-largest economy by 2027. However, some experts have suggested India's growth has as much to do with policies implemented by successive governments over the past two decades as with the current administration. Some economists have warned underlying growth is weaker than headline figures suggest. While Japan and Germany struggle, India may simply be benefiting from diversification of supply chains away from China. Some critics have claimed India is experiencing jobless growth. Japanese company Space One's Kairos rocket explodes just seconds after launch. ABC. Japanese company Space One's inaugural launch of the Kairos rocket ended in an explosion just seconds after takeoff. The rocket was carrying an experimental government satellite and was intended to make Space One the first Japanese company to put a satellite into orbit. There were no injuries in the incident, but the cause of the explosion is currently unknown. Space One aims to become a major player in the satellite launch industry, offering space courier services to domestic and international clients. Gemini, Google AI chatbot starts to restrict election answers. Yahoo! Google has confirmed it is restricting the types of election-related questions users can ask its artificial intelligence, AI, chatbot Gemini. In a blog post, it said the policy had been rolled out in India, which will hold elections from later in April. It comes as the firm aims to avoid more controversy over AI technology. Gemini is essentially Google's version of the viral chatbot ChatGPT. It can answer questions in text form, and it can also generate pictures. Ex-Honduras First Lady announces run for presidency days after husband's drug trafficking conviction. Associated Press. Former Honduran First Lady Ana Garcia de Hernandez announced her plans to run for the country's presidency next year, just days after her husband, ex-president Juan Orlando Hernandez, was convicted of conspiring with drug traffickers. Garcia de Hernandez said she would seek the nomination of Hernandez National Party and would actively fight to bring attention to the injustice committed against her husband. Critics, however, have accused her of entering politics to reduce her own legal exposure. China's Xiaomi embarks on Apple's road not taken. Reuters breaking views. Chinese handset maker Xiaomi plans to deliver its first electric car, the SU7 sedan, this month. The company has invested $10 billion in its electric vehicle ambitions and has partnered with state-backed manufacturer BAIC. While the market outlook for EVs is less positive now than it was three years ago, Xiaomi could still find success in the premium segment in China. The company's new operating system, which connects its smartphones, cars, and other gadgets, could be an advantage. Xiaomi is also in a strong financial position, with forecasted operating cash of nearly 19 billion Chinese yuan, $2.6 billion, this year and over $1 billion in net cash. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees world, bringing you the latest news and insights from around the globe. Let's dive right into today's stories. First up, we have chip makers searching for a China plus one strategy and finding Malaysia. Companies like Intel, Infineon, and Nvidia are investing billions in Malaysia's electrical and electronics manufacturing hub, seeking to strengthen their supply chains and production capabilities in crucial sectors like semiconductors and electric vehicles. 
It's a smart move in a world where geopolitical friction and competition are reshaping the economic landscape. Moving on to India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is basking in the glow of the country's strong GDP growth figures. With a growth rate of 7.7% for the calendar year, India is predicted to be the fastest-growing economy among G20 countries. Some experts attribute this growth to policies implemented over the past two decades, as well as the diversification of supply chains away from China. However, there are concerns about jobless growth and underlying weaknesses in the economy. In a less successful launch, Japanese company Space One's Kairos rocket exploded just seconds after takeoff. Although the cause of the explosion is unknown, Space One's goal of becoming a major player in the satellite launch industry has certainly hit a setback. Perhaps they need to work on their rocket science a bit more. Google is making some changes to its AI chatbot Gemini ahead of India's upcoming elections. The types of election-related questions users can ask Gemini will now be restricted, in an effort to avoid controversy surrounding AI technology. It's a wise move by Google to prevent any misinformation or biased responses during a politically sensitive time. In a surprising turn of events, former Honduran First Lady Ana Garcia de Hernandez has announced her run for the country's presidency, just days after her husband's conviction for conspiring with drug traffickers. Critics accuse her of entering politics to reduce her own legal exposure, but she claims to be fighting against the injustice committed against her husband. It's a dramatic twist in the Honduran political landscape. Finally, Chinese handset maker Xiaomi is venturing into the electric vehicle market with its first sedan, the SU7. Despite a less positive market outlook for EVs, Xiaomi could find success in the premium segment in China, thanks to its new operating system that connects smartphones, cars, and other gadgets. With a strong financial position, Xiaomi is ready to make its mark in the automotive industry. And that's a wrap on today's news. It's clear that geopolitics, economic diversification, and technological advancements are driving these stories. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you make of these developments? Do you have any burning questions for Dr. Six? Let's open up the discussion and see where our curiosity takes us. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.